Hello, welcome to Godfather Barbecue in Italian. Today we're doing something that's a lot of fun and delicious and easy. Again, simple, easy, delicious. That's the whole mantra of this of this channel, okay? So I've experimented a lot with this, and I'm going to give you what I've found to be the best method. There's so many different ways. Um, the biggest game changer I've come across or incorporated into my cooks is I've taken two potatoes. I'm cooking two chickens. I'm only going through one for the video for the sake of time. Obviously, just repeat for the next one. But um, just I've shaved the potatoes and angled them down so they fit in the necks of, of the chicken. Why? Well, here's why. Because as I started researching this, and I've cooked these all ways, and I, this is one of my favorite things on the grill is, is chicken, no matter how you cook it. But I've done them... Um, Free, no, nothing blocking the airwaves. Uh, airways, I've done them with aromatics in the beer without. The best version I've found is just straight beer. The stuff inside, if you put it in the can, I, I cooked them side by side. I could not taste the difference, okay? I mean, it, it makes sense. You cook it from the inside. Most of that stuff is really not going to penetrate the rib cage and everything in an hour and a half, okay? Which is about the cooking time it's going to be. What are the main... Um, important things to touch on here, couple. One is make sure you have dry chicken. If you want to come over, I'll show you this. Um, you've got to really work on for the skin. We're using the pellet grills, so as you know, the deal with pellet grills, um, they, are, they create a lot of moisture on their own. But I've taken these, towel dried them really well with paper towels, put actually some underneath them and put them out in the, in the fridge we have in the garage. For a couple hours just dry um for, you know air drying them and they should look like this because when you put your binder on um which contains oil you know what happens with oil and water you get no bark you get no crispiness it's going to just run off of it okay so that's the important thing i've also snipped off the end of the wings um because those will end up burning up on you okay as far as these go we have stands um I forget where along the lines we got these, but um, they're like not, um, eight or nine bucks, ten. Yeah, yeah, they have them all over the place. You don't have to buy anything specific to your grill for this because you're going to pay 20 bucks when you can pay 10. One other tip I can give you, if you've done this before, you may have experienced when you go to take them off, they stick to, the chicken will stick to this and the beer can, and it can become frustrating. You can I've ripped chickens apart because they were so tender. And most importantly, it can be very dangerous because that beer is going to be very hot in that can. So I'm going to spray this with some, you know, you can either spray or rub it with some olive oil, whatever, cooking oil you can spray on. That just makes it easier in the end, okay? So plug or no plug, I've done those side by side. They're, they're all good. So I've done a dry one with just, just on the stand. And the vertical cooking also will add an element to this too. So it's not all... Uh, for sure. There, there, there's a lot of benefit to cooking a chicken standing up because you're getting the back, you're getting everything. Um, then, I've, you know, so I've done one that right next to it, one with beer can, two thirds full, um, no, uh, no cap, no plug in the, in the top. And then the next one plugged, um, everything else the same. And they went right in that order. Now, don't get me wrong, even the one without beer in it, was phenomenally tender. The pellet grills will do that automatically. But it's just each one went to a different level as far as moisture. You know, taste was honestly obviously the same. But um, if we're out to get moist, juicy chicken with a crisp skin, this, this is the way to do it. So I'm going to take the binder, apply it to this chicken. Um, my beer can is going to have two-thirds full beer in it. Okay, I don't open it up. I don't put anything in it. I didn't see the difference. If you want to do that, by all means, go ahead. All right, so I'm going to put a little cooking spray on this here. It's okay if you get your chickens. Again, I'm just doing one for now. I'm going to go back and do the other one. This is done. I'm going to go all right, so on with my binder. I'm going to give this nice coat. This will also help with browning. Okay. Go 
to my rub. Now, that's another uh, tip for you, too. We don't eat the back, obviously. Um, so if you want to just use salt back here, save yourself some money and rubs, you can do that for the sake of convenience and time. I don't, but if I'm doing this and I have all the time, why not save the rub? It's expensive. Okay, so I get the back, turn it over. This is strong um, rub too, it's very potent, so you don't have to really go crazy. You get some of the inside of the cavity. Get under your armpits there. A little legs. And I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, throw this right on. Try to work from the back as far as holding it, so if you don't have to apply your rub again, use your legs for have a seat, buddy. Okay. Just gonna come over and touch this up. And that's it. We'll see you at the pit. Okay, two quick things I realized I did not mention. Um, the binder I'm using is, I can't believe it's not butter. It's just a spray uh, butter. You, again, you can use any type of binder. And the rub, I'm using Kinder's SPG. Um, this is great. I love this and I love Cosmos both. Um, this is really um, potent as far as the amount you need. As I mentioned when I was, see, when I was rubbing the bird or applying the rub, um, little goes a long way with this, but just wanted to mention so you didn't have any question about what this was in the in the shoot. The other thing, um, running 365 on the Rectech 700, find that's a great temperature. Um, it gives you a nice balance of you know time and um, color and tenderness. I'm running Traeger Signature Pellets. Um, again, I know they're a big box uh, store item, but they're great. They're consistent. They're flavorful. And they're efficient too. So we'll see you at the pit. All right, so we're out at the pit running 365. We'll go ahead and uh, just slightly grab this from the bottom and lift it up. That way you don't mess any of your rub up. Put it there, make sure it doesn't get affected by the door. That's good. Pearl probe right in the deepest part of the breast. I get another guy joining this one, so I'm going to run him this way. Right there. Make sure you're not touching the bone. And that should be fine. I'm going to come out and check them about 45 minutes. I anticipate about an hour and a half cook. Uh, see if they need to be rotated or anything. Look at the coloring on them. Once in a great while, I may baste them, we'll see, but we'll see what they look like. The rubs all react differently with uh, with different grills. So I haven't run this rub on this grill yet. So we'll see you at that point. Okay, we're at the 45 minute mark. Uh, we're temping right at about 130. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, these are looking good. See those wings? That's why I clipped the ends. They tend to get darker because of the smallest part of the bird so do that if you can if you have any shears that'll prevent the burning but these look good they don't need anything uh, i'm going to pull them at 160 i know everybody says 165 but you do have another five degrees of carry over cooking so we'll see you at uh, 160 all right we're back and of course <laughs> look who's here somebody smells food mama where are you going we're not ready yet anyway because we have to rest these 20 minutes, 15 minimally, but I'm gonna let these roll 20 minutes. I'm gonna get the other sides together that we're gonna have with them. I'm gonna pull the potatoes and we'll see you back after they've rested. We're gonna go on the cutting board and show you what we got. 
All right, so we're back. We've been resting about 20 minutes. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just cut a couple of pieces so you guys can see how it looks. Um, it smells and looks delicious, nice and crispy. Um, again, rested about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead, just get at it. I'll take the leg. You can see the juice. Nice. Okay. The thigh. That'll come along with the wing. That will help. Nice crispy wing for you. And for the breast, I just come right down the side. All the bone. These were uh, about five pound birds, by the way. Okay, so you can see that nice crispy skin. And we'll put that piece of skin on there. But nice, juicy, tender. piece of this wow wow so I can taste everything the rub the SPG the smoke and it's so juicy it's unbelievable it's my favorite thing I mean on, on the grill for a quick meal always has been And with the leftovers, makes a great chicken salad. But I don't think there's going to be anything left. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there's any questions, or if you make one, let me know. Till the next time, thank you.